most of the electrical connectors off and ready to go. So now, what I'm going to do is go on and take the spar, take the spar bolts loose. Pull this interior panel out. wrenches to take out the spark bolts. Get these out of here. I just put all this stuff in here. Wrenches. Give you a little bit of water view here. Okay. I'll pull out the spar bolt. better view here somehow. Okay, plus stay out of my way. Never understood the torque on the spark bolts. Seem a little shadowy.
some reason it's a lot easier taking something apart than it is putting it together. I never understood that. But here we are. I'll tell you, the wings are going to be easy. It's going to be fuselage. And what's funny is that bolt right there, I can push it in and out with my fingers. Whenever I put a wing on, the way I do it is I get the wing and to where it has no stress whatsoever on the spar. So I can push the bolts in and out with my hands. And then I tighten them up. And as you can tell by me being able to turn this bolt, that it's that the that it's still in that position even after flying the 40 hours, which means that there's no movement of the of the spar inside of the center section. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to turn this bolt. Or on the other hand, it wallered out the hole, which I don't very seriously. <laughs> Out, I'm gonna pull this bolt. I'm gonna show you that this bolt can be moved. That's me moving it in and out. It may take it I can't get a grip on it. I'm gonna turn it up and push it with my thumb. And there's the bolt. So if you if you build your plane that way and you unload the wing on the spar, you should be able to do that with a few of the bolts. As I take the bolts out, of course, it's gonna the wing's gonna fall and it's gonna put pressure on the bolts. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put a a sawhorse under the wing about where it's at and see if I can't try to find that. Let's see if that keeps the pressure off of it when I do the next couple of bolts.